we need more girls in STEM. <laughs> that was the exact inspiration I had when I started her STEM story. But as I looked at the real problem of gender gap in STEM professions in the United States, I figured out that retention is probably our bigger problem than getting more girls in STEM. And there's lots and lots of data and studies to support exactly that. My TEDx came live two weeks ago and I've been so excited to share the link with everybody. I would encourage you to check it out because it answers this exact question of why do women leave their STEM careers? And in this quick episode, I just wanted to break down my TEDx and share with you my opinion on this topic. So let's get started. Hi there, this is Prasha Dutra, and I'm passionate about helping you unlock your true potential in your science, technology, engineering, and mathematics career and beyond. Less than a decade ago, I moved to the US from India to live my American dream. I took my engineering career to the next level by starting my own consulting and coaching company while thriving at my nine to five job money, time management, career planning, and personal growth are all things we'll discuss here. From expert guests and their stories to my own lessons, this show is an ongoing masterclass in how to believe in your brilliance and conquer your STEM career with confidence. Get a pen and paper and get ready for an education you wish you had in school. This is Her STEM Story, the podcast. More than 40% women leave their STEM careers in less than five years of starting. There's very few research around this topic and retention continues to puzzle employers, organizations, and the industry overall. If we could only retain women in STEM, I promise you our goal of having a, an equal workforce would be accomplished very quickly. But the problem is we're putting resources into getting more girls in STEM and we're bringing them into a leaking bucket. That's exactly what I talk about in my TEDx, which was titled, Why do women leave their careers in STEM? This talk is super important because I think in this time where we're also focused on getting more girls in STEM, we are forgetting the bigger picture, which is to keep women in STEM. I definitely want to clarify that there are many, many reasons why women leave, including systemic biases, including systemic issues within organizations and industries. And there's a lot that people have to do as a society to help women have successful careers in high demanding jobs, including better childcare options, um, less mom guilt, and other things that stereotypes have propagated in the society. So there's a lot of work to be done. But through this TEDx, which is only nine minutes and 30 seconds long, I wanted to share my story. How did I go from feeling lost in my STEM career to finding myself in my STEM career? How did this podcast help me feel like I belong in STEM? How did this podcast help me find my way through this doubt and worry? And how did meeting more women like myself change how I felt about being the only woman in the room. This TEDx is about my experience and my story and just one part of the giant problem of retention of women in STEM. This talk also leaves you with amazing, valuable and actionable advice towards the end to find your role models, relatable role models. If there's one thing her STEM story has done for me is to provide me with relatable role models. And I want to share a simple formula for you to find those relatable role models in your area of expertise, research, or even in your industry. It's really, really simple. And I want you to check it out by clicking the link in my bio and watching my TEDx because I promise you, if I can stand on that stage and share my idea with you, I can hopefully inspire you to stay in STEM. And my hope for everybody who tunes in is that please continue to make progress. We need you in STEM fields. STEM cannot grow without the diverse workforce. It cannot 
achieve those big milestones that are waiting for humanity. Um, we cannot cure COVID-19. We cannot cure cancer. We cannot fight all these malices without your support. So definitely, please tune in. If you know somebody who is in STEM, please share the link with them and spread the word. This talk means so much to me because it, as an immigrant, as a first generation immigrant, someone who moved from India less than a decade ago, this is a huge accomplishment. And this is a huge stage to share with you my story of how I came to America, plus what did I learn from doing this podcast for over three years and how I think we can close the gender gap in STEM fields with this one little thing that we can do. And hopefully, because we're a part of the culture too, we can create a change from inside out. And that's my hope. So check it out. The link is in the bio. As I said, it's only nine minutes and 30 seconds long. I hope you enjoy it. Continue to share it, like it, and leave me a comment so I can know what you think. Okay, thank you so much for listening. I'll see you again later. Bye.